So let me show you best settings for Rank Math plugin so you can improve your website SEO and you don't have all this unexpected error in Google Search Console. If you don't know about the error in Search Console, don't worry about it. Just look at it this way that if you follow this video, your website SEO will be top notch and you can have maximum benefit with Rank Math plugin. And also if you already use Rank Math plugin, I highly recommend to watch this video because I'm gonna cover a lot of points, it's gonna be a very knowledgeable video. So you can analyze what are settings on your website with Rank Math SEO plugin so you can get maximum benefit of SEO and your website rank higher in Google search engine ranking. Log into WordPress dashboard and then from left sidebar hover on plugins and click on add new. Now search here rank math. You'll find this first plugin rank math SEO. You can see they have 2 plus million active installation. Last updated 3 days ago so it's a reliable plugin which is updated frequently and almost 5 star rating provided by more than 6000 people. So first thing we're gonna do click on install now. If you already have Rankman installed your website, you can skip this part and continue to the next part of this video. I'm gonna add the timestamp in the description of this video. Okay, once it is installed, click on activate. So once plugin is activated, you see this screen where you can start the setup wizard to implement the best SEO settings with Rank Math. If you do not see this screen or you already have Rank Math plugin installed, you can go back to dashboard. And then from here Rank Math SEO, you can click on dashboard and then click on setup wizard. And you will come to the same screen where you can start the onboarding process. Okay, we're gonna choose the easy one because here Rank Math will do the most heavy lifting for you. So you do not need to alter all the small options and you will have the best setting which are recommended by Rank Math plugin. So click on start wizard. Okay, there are very simple things here. Now you need to choose what kind of website you got. For example, this website is a web shop but you can choose a personal blog if you run a personal blog. If it's a news website, you can choose news website, personal portfolio, if you're a designer or architect or any kind of personal portfolio you have on your website, you can choose personal portfolio. Small business website, web shop and there are other options. In my case, I'm going to choose web shop because I have WooCommerce installed. And then business type organization. Now here you can choose different kind of category if your website is following one of those categories. For example, if you have personal blog, then you will not have the option of organization. And then you need to enter website name and then give it a website alternate name. I'll just keep it like LCYW which is let's create your website and then person organization name make sure there's no additional characters here so I'll delete this character and then you need to add a logo for Google so I already added a logo you can click on add or upload file and your website logo will be added here okay now default share image so what happened when somebody share your website page or post on Facebook there's an image added to that post in some cases if a page doesn't have featured image in that case this fallback image will be added to that post or page. So I highly recommend you if you have a blog website or news website you should add a social default image here and then click on save and continue. And now you can connect your rank math account it is a free account so click on connect your rank math account. You can see I'm already logged in with my gmail account so I'll just click on activate now. In your case you will be presented an option to log in with the gmail account choose a gmail account and then click on activate now. And this is a free plan you're not going to pay anything for this. They will ask you once more with my gmail account I'll choose my id and guys make sure you select your gmail id which is connected to your search console and your google analytics account then I give all the permission to rank with plugin it is a very reliable plugin but if you are somebody who is concerned about privacy you can read everything by clicking on learn more but in my experience it is a very reliable plugin and then click on continue you can see my search console and analytics account is already connected because I connected rank with my gmail id which is the same id I use for search console and analytics and then in the end adsense it is available to pro plan I am not going to cover this option in the end click save and continue. Okay guys congratulations your first step which is onboarding to rank math plugin is done you see it was so simple. So now what we will do we click on return to dashboard. So by default you come local SEO but first we cover global meta and guys make sure you watch this video carefully so you do not have issues with google search console. I am gonna cover a lot of options so you do not have many errors on search console like discover not index or currently not index and several other errors in search console account. Okay, so first thing in global meta, you can see there are different global options here. We're gonna cover all these options one by one. Do look a lot to see, but once we're gonna proceed in the video, you'll see they're really simple and really easy to understand. Okay, so the first thing here, make sure robots meta is checked to index. Sometimes what happened, by mistake or anyhow, it is set to no index, so your pages will not be indexed on Google. And you will have error of pages not indexed in search console account. So make sure it is always indexed. Then separate the character, I recommend you to keep it default. There's no meaning of choosing all these things. We don't want to make anything complicated on the website. And sometimes different browser and devices, they cannot render this kind of special characters. And then capitalize title, I will not turn it on because we don't want to make anything complicated. The whole purpose of installing plugins on the website is keep things simple. 
And then we already discussed about open graph thumbnail. So please add a thumbnail image. So when somebody share a post or page, which do not have any featured image, then this default image will be shown on the shared post or page. And guys, always make sure when I explain the option, you need to click on save changes. Okay, global meta is done. Now let's talk about local SEO. So in case your person or organization, select the relevant option. I'm going to choose organization. In your case, you can choose person. And then make sure there are no special characters. And then we already filled all this option during the onboarding process. So we do not need to change anything here. Just in the end, you need to enter your organization address here. It is really nice for Google My Business. So make sure you add the exact address which you added on Google My Business. If you haven't added Google My Business, don't worry about it. You can add your address here. And then you can add opening hours if you're targeting local business. If you don't have opening hours, you can remove all this option from here. This is not going to affect negatively on your SEO. But if you have a business, you can always add time and choose the relevant hours when your business is open. You can choose the different days from here. And then your phone number, price range, if you sell something, otherwise you can leave it. And then from here, make sure you select the about page. You can type your page here. For example, I have about page on website. So I choose about page. If in your case, there's a different page which contains information about your company or your blog, choose that page. Then also contact page, you can type the first three letters and then you will see the contact page here. I cannot see the contact page, maybe it is from a different name, but you understand you need to select a contact page here. Then Google Maps API key, you can leave it, otherwise you can add Google Maps API key. So I'm going to add the link how you can get the Google API key, so you can add the API key here. And then geo coordinates so that people can come to your business directly, if it is a local business. And then click on save changes. Third thing which is really easy, social meta. Add all the social profile of your business or your blog or your news website, your Facebook URL and then your Facebook authorship, you can leave this option here. Add your Twitter username or if you have additional profile, then you can add those URLs here for Instagram, LinkedIn, everything you can add here by giving line breaks. Now let's go to home. You can see home here. This option is moved here. So if you want to change the SEO setting for home page, you can edit home page directly and you can change the settings there. We are going to cover that in little bit in detail later. But for now, you can leave it like this. And then your post formats. Here's the example how the title will show. And then what should be by default description of that page. Then we have authors. So guys, make sure you keep it disabled. If you do not have a news website with a lot of authors, in cases your news website or big blog where you have multiple authors, then you can keep it enabled. But for most of the people, I recommend to keep it disabled. It brings more trouble than giving advantages. Then you have missed pages. Data archives. If you have blog website, keep it enabled. Otherwise, make it disable. Okay, next important thing, we have post types. So you can see here there are different post types. Usually in WordPress, there are only two post types, post and pages. And all these things you can see because I installed several plugins on my website. That's why we have custom post types. So I use a plugin for WP TV tables, landing pages, voting contest, polls, products, because I use WooCommerce and then Elementor header for Builder. That's why you can see there's several post types here. But we need to focus on these two first. Let's click on post. So you can see here how the post will be displayed. So we'll title here and then you can remove this page from here if you see the page. Otherwise, if you do not see this, then totally fine. Make sure you title and then your separator and then site name. And then single post description, you can keep it excerpt for now, which will be a small text from a post, which will be by default meta description for that post. And then schema type article for the post and then article type article, blog post and news article. If you have news website, choose news article. Otherwise, blog post, leave it blog post. If it's a normal article, you can choose article. There's not a lot of difference here, but it's always better to use the most closest option. And then save changes. Okay, let's come to pages. Make sure here, remove this option if you see this page. Because you can see it shows page 2 of 4, which is not really relevant for us. We don't want this to be added here. So we're going to remove this. So just page name, separator and our website name. Rest everything will leave default here like this. Now let's talk about this custom post type. You can see this custom post type will be shown here. But guys, what gonna happen? We don't want all these things to be added to the sitemap of the website. Because what happened? These are the plugins. They're not creating some pages, but they're added post type. So what we can do, we can leave everything default like this here. But what we'll do, we'll exclude these things from our sitemap. So Google will not spend time to crawl these pages. Google will understand these pages are not something we want to be indexed on search engine. So what we can do, we'll just move here for the moment. We'll go to sitemap setting, and then we'll come back here to the titles and meta. Because this is really important, so you do not mess up your search console. So click on sitemap settings. Okay, then you have multiple options here. So in general, image in sitemap should be enabled. And then include feature may you can leave it unchecked. Then we HTML sitemap. 
If you are somebody who want HTML sidebar on the website, you can enable the option. But for most of you, I recommend you do not use this option. It makes things even complicated. XML sitemap is enough for your website. You do not need to enable HTML sitemap. But if you really want, you can enable this option. And then you can choose page from here. And you can choose a page which will display HTML sitemap for your website. For me and for most of you, I recommend to not enable this option. Okay, we are talking about titles and meta. And then we talked last time about the post type. You can see the same post types here. These two came with WordPress and these are created by different plugins. So if you go to post here, we are checked include in sitemap. Make sure this is enabled and it is included in the sitemap. Same for pages. But for the custom post type, created from the various plugins, for example this one, I'll make sure this is unchecked. Because we don't want Google come and crawl these posts and then index on search engine. Because they're not real pages or posts. So make sure you uncheck landing pages. What you can do if you create a landing page, you can keep it on. So landing pages are included in the sitemap. Voting contest products, make sure they are checked or anything as you think should be indexed. Make them enable so they are included in the sitemap. Elementor header and footer builder, I'm sure a lot of you are using this. Make sure this is excluded. You don't want custom post type to be added in the sitemap. Otherwise, you will see this error of this post type in Search Console account. But if you exclude this option, you will not see this error on Search Console account. The same thing categories, if you have blog website, you can enable this. And for tags, do not enable. In my experience, it works better if you just enable categories, not the tags. Because sometimes they overlap and you can have the error of duplicate content on your website. And then product categories, same thing. You can enable this and leave the product tags. Do not enable them. And then you have table tags. Leave that unchecked. So we discuss this. We'll go back to titles and meta. So we're discussing the post type. So we understand how you can exclude this unwanted things from your sitemap. Okay, let's move to categories. You can see same thing here. This is the example of the default titles and excerpt. This is already very well set, the term separator and your site name. And by default, everything here is already fine. Just make sure you're not including these kind of post type in your sitemap, which you can address here, sitemap setting, which you already saw. Let's go one more time to sitemap settings. So we're again sitemap settings. So make sure all these type which you don't want to be indexed or you don't want Google crawl these kind of things, make sure they're excluded in the sitemap. Then we have the next important thing, which is instant indexing. So before we move forward, I highly recommend you to like the video and subscribe to the channel because this video takes a lot of time to research, script, edit, film, and then upload to YouTube. Sometimes a 10 minute video can take up to 20 hours. So if you like the video, subscribe to the channel. I will understand you guys are appreciating my efforts and that would make me really happy. And subscribing is totally free and it's a good way to show your support and it's good for YouTube algorithm also. So more people can get benefit from this kind of videos. Okay, let's go back to the video. Then we have the next important thing which is instant indexing. So make sure you select this option post pages and media here. So whenever you make any change or you publish a new post, by searching will be notified that the new post is published or new page is published or any post is modified. And then we have role manager here. If a single admin website, you don't need to worry about this thing. You can leave everything like this here. But if you have multiple people working on your website, you can choose their capabilities, what they can do on the website. For example, this is for administrators, for editors, what they can do. You can give them more rights or you can revoke their rights by checking and unchecking these options. Same for author and contributors. And then in the end we have SEO analyzer. You can see here, this is my website SEO score. If you do not see anything here, you can click on restart SEO analyzer or you'll see option of analyzing website SEO. And then you can see the website score here. And then here you will see all the details how your website is performing in SEO. You can see I have this minor error. Automatic updates are not enabled on your website. I will just keep this option off. And then you have multiple issues here. If you see an issue here, you can just work on these issues. You can see the error with image, all the attributes. And what I like about Rank Math SEO, you can click on how to fix. And then you can see how you can fix this issue. You can click on read more. And there's a complete article from Rank Math how you can address these kind of issues. So this is something I really like about Rank Math SEO. And then links ratio, you can see I have 14 internal links on the website, 14 external links, not the best thing. But because I promote some affiliate products on the website, you can see there are external links on the website. That's why I'm seeing bad internal to external links ratio on the website. SEO title is good, site tagline is good, and then I have a problem with focus keyword. We're gonna see a little bit later in detail how you can fix the focus keyword because I have 15 pages and I have not added the focus keyword for these pages. I'm gonna show you in a bit how you can correct these things. And everything else looks good here. And then we have status and tools and help and support. You can use this option in case you need some help and support. Okay, so this was how you can configure rank math to have the best SEO on your website and do not have unwanted search console errors. Now let me show you some more important things how rank math can help you to elevate your SEO. For example, let's go to post, go to all post. And then you can see here rank math added all these details for us, SEO details, SEO title, SEO description. And you can see how SEO is working on these kind of blog posts. 
let's pick up a blog post we can click on edit okay you can see the blog post here and on the right side if you click here this is rank math if i click on rank math you can see the score is 12 out of 100 which is really bad score so if you scroll the page you can see here i have so many basic error there is no focus keyword to the seo title and if you see on the top here you can see the post will look in search engine so preview will be something like this so what we can do we can add a focus keyword here and then you have focus keyword of seo meta description also and then it says use focus keyword in the url because right now if you click here you can see this how the post will look like so there is no keyword in the url and the title and the description of this post that's why we are seeing all this error for example i want to make this focus keyword i just add this here and then you can see these two things are corrected focus keyword in the seo title focus keyword is in the url but focus keyword not found in your meta description so for meta description you click on edit snippet here and then description we can add the focus keyword and say learn how to fix wordpress new text web server this is just an example you need to add more text which is relevant to your website blog post or your article add up to 160 characters which are relevant to your blog post and give more information so once you add description you can see the score is better now we are on 56 and then we can see focus keyword doesn't appear at the beginning of your content so you can add something here learn how to and then fix wordpress xc web server you can see now we are scoring much better okay and now in the end you can see content is 337 words long consider using at least 600 words so make sure you write at least 600 words this is not a best blog post so i need to add few more words so i can also pass this thing and make sure to go as high as you can go for the scores here okay now we have additional errors you can see all this thing focus keyword is not into h2 s3 you can follow all these things here and then correct them here and the best thing about this if you don't understand you can see the small question mark here you can click on this and then you can see how you can focus all these issues it might look overwhelming but honestly this is not overwhelming if you start writing blog posts on your website this is going to be like piece of cake for you and you can solve all these issue in no time if you follow this tutorial you will have much better search engine rankings and traffic will improve on your website and if you really want to take your website seo to next level check out this small playlist where i explain how we can solve common search console errors